Hello, welcome to the channel. Now, picture you being able to create videos that are so eye-catching and professional that stop your audience mid-scroll like, wait, who made this one? Who did this? Sounds exciting, right? Well, today, I'm not just going to show you how to create a random AI video. Instead, I'm going to show you how to craft a purposeful AI-generated video designed to accomplish goals, designed to accomplish marketing goals, content creation goals, advertising goals, not just videos for fun with no direction behind them. There's nothing wrong with that. Totally cool. But I'm talking about realistic AI-generated videos that you can use for marketing your personal brand, your products, your services. We're talking about videos that are built to drive engagement, boost your visibility, and doing it all without spending endless hours on hiring an expensive production team or even having video editing skills or video creation skills. And some will say it sounds like a dream, but absolutely not. It's totally possible for you to use AI-generated tools to accomplish goals that grow your business, grow your awareness, and increase your income. So you have to be in the know that right now, AI-generated videos are already completely changing the game for businesses, marketers, content creators, advertisers, and many more. Actually, many of the videos now that you see on TV are using AI characters. They're so real looking now that most people can't even tell the difference. And this is a huge leap from like a year ago when the output was nowhere near as realistic as it is today, which is why people didn't really take it serious with all the blurs, the smears. But with tools like Kling AI stepping in the game, which we'll be exploring together here, they now give us the power to transform our ideas into stunning, professional-looking content with ease and speed that was unimaginable a year ago. I created a video of me being at an elaborate event recently and posted it on Instagram, and I had people saying, go, Mayo, go, because they thought it was realistic. And the beauty of it is it's fast, it's getting faster, actually, it's efficient, and the results extraordinary because think about the benefits you are creating tailored content that feels personal that feels professional to your brand helping you connect effectively with your target audience all those bright ideas you had in your mind of hey you know we could do a video like this we could do a video like this now you can so it's finally the time that you could create those videos that could boost your engagement allow you to accomplish your goals give you polished visuals that attract attention right away. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a video to market your product or your service or your personal brand using Kling AI, how I've been able to do it. So whether you're completely new to AI and you've not used AI video creation tools or looking to actually level up your content game with the right prompts, this tutorial is for you. Let's dive in. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to clingai.com. And once you go there, you will have to create an account. If you don't have an account, sign up. And then you will get some free credits that you can use. But this is a paid account that I'm using here. So once you go to create, you get to see the Kling AI dashboard here, where on the left it shows home, explore, and assets. This is the menu on the left that has the effects, image, video, sound, AI tools, all this stuff on the left here. But this video is focused on using images to create videos because that's what's really key here. So we're going to go into the video generation tab right here to the left because what we're doing is using the two unique ways that you can create videos in Kling AI. The first one is frames, using frames, and the second is using elements. Now I'm gonna elaborate a little bit on this. So now let's talk about frames. With frames, what you do is you have the opportunity to drop two pictures, right? A beginning shot and an ending shot, and the tool creates a transition between both of them. 
That's what frames are for. So you'd be uploading two images in here and it'll be creating a transition between them right here or whatever you want to happen between the two shots. That's the first one for image to video. Now, the second one is elements. In elements, you are dropping four images or you could drop up to four images is what I should say. And here you will have those images interact with each other by putting a prompt here. So I'm going to show you how you can use both frames and elements under image to video to create amazing realistic videos that I've been able to do using Kling AI. So first of all, let's look at frames under image to video with Kling AI. Here's how to do it. So I'm going to add the first image right here. And in this instance, we have our start image, as you can see. And then I'm going to add the end image right here, as you can see. We'll drag in the other image here. So we have the beginning shot and the after shot. And in this instance, this is the same character in a casual mode. And then all of a sudden in a professional mode, right? Before and after transitions could be for personal branding, could be for, hey, I'm going for the casual look to the professional look. It could actually be also for products when you think about it. Like this is the casual outfit right here, and this is the professional outfit. So it gives you an idea on how you could start to think about how to use two images for transitions here. All right, so we're gonna scroll to the bottom here where it says, please describe your creative ideas for the video or view help center for a quick start. This is where we're gonna put our prompt. Now you have the option, as you can see here, to use DeepSeek R1. So it gives you opportunities to have a head start on prompts. As you can see, it says here, the person runs, the camera follows, a man flying through the air on a wind fire wheels soaring past skyscrapers. So if you need help, you can use these tools too. Also the inspiration presets, which gives you the chance to pick like your lens, your shot type, light and shadow effect, frame, all that stuff, atmosphere, you know? So these are other prompts embedded in here to help you out which is so phenomenal. But in this instance, I have the prompt already because I render this. I'm just showing you how I did it. So I'm going to close this out. And so here's the prompt and here it is here. So it says the video begins with the first image of the woman sitting casually on the sofa. She then smoothly transitions into motion, standing up from the sofa and walking out of the frame to the right. The camera follows her movement, creating a sense of continuity and flow as she exits the scene. The focus shifts to the right corner where she reappears in the second image. Now dressed in her official attire, she confidently walks into the frame from the right, striking a professional pose that mirrors the final picture. The transition highlights her transformation from casual to professional, emphasizing versatility and adaptability. Now, I read this whole prompt because this video actually turned out not as cool as I wanted it to be. And I'm going to show you the difference between the one that actually came out better than this one after I refined the prompt. So here, after that, you go to the bottom here and go to negative prompt, which is very important. I always use the negative prompt. And these are the negative prompts, distortion, blurry, morph, ingraining, all that stuff, all in there that you just don't want. Now going down to the bottom, you get to pick the model that you want to use. So as you can see here, Kling 1.6 model with end frame only supports professional mode. So in this instance, I can only use professional mode can't use standard mode. I could render it for five seconds. I could do more than one output. I could do two outputs, three outputs, four outputs. That's with VIP. And then the creativity relevance is very important. I always move this to sort of like 0.8 so that it sticks as much as possible to the image and to the prompt. So as you can see here, it says creativity and relevance. I want it to be more relevant because I'm doing it for a purpose. So that's something to take note of. And then here are the credits that I'm gonna use when I generate it. So for professional, it's gonna be 35. So then we go to the bottom here, and as you can see, we could generate it. And being professional, it's gonna use 35 credits when I generate it. And after that, you generate. Now, here is the outcome of what we got from this prompt. So I'm gonna play it here. And as you can see, she gets up, She's walking away, but then she transitions into the shot by not turning around, by not coming out of the right as I instructed it to do. So as you can see, that's a little awkward, right? You can't really post that because it's like, hey, I'm walking and then I turn magically and stuff. Now, this is the issue with prompting. And as you can see, I just burned 35 credits on something I might not be able to use. But 
This comes with the territory. At times, you have to burn credits to refine your prompts to get them exactly where you want them to be. Now I'm gonna show you the second one and how we refined that prompt. And here's the second one over here. Now I'm gonna play it and you'll see. So she's walking away and then turns around. So you see that's much better when she walks and then just turns as opposed to her walking this way and then just flipping around from her backside to the front, just automatically, just a little awkward, you know? But here at least it makes sense. You know, got up and then I backed up and then boom. Just like that, I'm right there. And as you can see, I had to change the prompt because now I said standing up from the sofa and walking out of the frame to the left. If you go down here, you see it says out of the frame to the right. So I figured if I made that change, it would adjust it to be a little bit more realistic and that could have been where the confusion was. Now, as you can see, it didn't really stick to the prompt because the whole idea was that she would get up, go this way and then come out back, but at least this is better. And then I also took off, she confidently walks into the frame from the right. As you can see here, I'm gonna scroll up. As you can see, it says, she confidently walks into the frame striking a professional pose. So these little tweaks, these little few words make a big, big difference when it comes to prompting and what your output looks like. So that's how you can use image to video, AI generation in Kling AI using frames. Now we're gonna move into elements using image to video in Kling AI with elements. And again, what are elements? Elements are images that you can upload that you can then prompt to interact with each other, which is so amazing. Think about it as a marketer. You can have different objects that you could slap together, merge together to bring out a wonderful video. Or if you're planning on doing ads, think about these opportunities that you have in being able to create this. So I'm gonna show you in this instance how I use elements to create a coffee mug ad to sensationalize the coffee mug and to not make it complicated at all. I'm actually just going to use two images here because I know trying to get four images could be overbearing. It's wonderful. You could also try it, but I've noticed that at times using a few gets you there. So here we're going to upload our image right here, and then we're going to upload what we want to market, which is this coffee cup right here that has the graphic on it, which is very important because I've gotten questions a lot of times, like how can I make sure that it's still my brand? It's still the graphic that I put on this image that's going to come out in a perfect way. And this could be the answer to that. So we have both images here, and then I'm going to just describe the actions here. And so here is the prompt I'm using. And again, use AI to get your prompts. Just tell AI, this is what I'm imagining. I told AI I'm thinking about marketing this cup and it gave me a bunch of ideas that I'm using here. So our prompt for this now is gonna be woman in soft natural lighting with the white coffee mug to her lips to take a sip with branded design visible on the front of the mug. Her eyes looking directly into the camera, cozy indoor morning scene as she smiles and winks. So we're gonna, Look at the output here. But again, what do we do? We are going to put in our negative prompts. We don't want to forget that. And here are now options that we have. You have two options, as you can see. Standard. With standard, it's only 20 credits, right? Not as crisp, not as clear, not as good. That's just something to know. Now, if you wanted more than five seconds, as you can see, it changes. Then it's going to be 40 seconds. So you also have your outputs here, 16 by 9, 9 by 16 one by one, and I could create different outputs if I want. But again, as you can see, it changes my credits. So in this instance, it was professional and VIP that we went for to be able to get this wonderful image that I'm gonna show you what the output came out to be, and here it is. So that's the coffee cup. Look at that, wake, post, repeat, still perfect on it. Like that is just amazing because that's what we wanted. So imagine if that was your logo, a little bit of a shake, but it's still, captures it in a great way without losing that graphic at all. And speaking about the prompt, as you can see, went really for it, even the wink with both eyes this time, actually. But, you know, that makes you want to take a sip out of that mug. It gives you an idea on how you could use that product. And as you can see here, I've used this for several realistic videos to capture different kinds of scenes that you want. This is about being at an elaborate event and toasting the good times. This was a picture of a lady walking confidently to the camera to give a professional pose just from an image uploaded. And in this instance, 
I only used one image. I didn't even use two under image to video. So you don't always have to use several images here. You could just use one depending on what your goals are and your outcomes are. But being able to mix and match, wow, that's just so huge. So there you have it. Two unique ways right now that you could create image to video in Kling AI. First using frames, the second one using elements. And keep in mind, your prompts are really very important. That's where the difference matters. That's where you find out that the right prompts save you a whole lot in credits, because if you have the right prompts there, you get the right output, just like I did with this one. It was the first prompt that we put in here that gave this output, so it didn't need refining. I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to the channel so you can continue to see helpful content that just makes your life easier. Till next time, take care.